Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're doing a review of Woodford Reserve, the new batch proof 124.7 Pat. Let's Woo. get into it. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by, checking us out again. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It's just one button. Go ahead, click it right now. All right, thank you so much. Like this video as well. Drop some comments down below if you've had this. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, check us out over on Patreon. Anything we drink this month on the channel goes up in a lottery over there. We give a whole bunch of away free samples, cigar, all sorts of cool shit over there. Always so, give away something. Uh, go check us out over on Patreon. Matt, I hope they redeem themselves with this one. Okay, the last year's batch, which was like 118.4 or something like that, sucked. Mm -hmm. We just saw that hit the shelves up here in New Hampshire this year. Yep. Thankfully, I went down to Total Wine down in Massachusetts and saw this one sitting on the shelf. The employee actually was a little pissed when he saw it because he didn't realize they got it in. And obviously, they steal all the good bottles before we can get them too. Yeah, absolutely. So I ended up getting one. And um, I want to say it was right around the $145 price tag, Man, which is a little much. It's supposed to be like, I think, $130 for the MSRP. Um, and it's a 700 bottle now, not 750. I mean, come so on. let's let's shave a little off and raise the price. Let's just you know, historically we haven't been the biggest fan of a lot of their master collection type stuff that they put out. All right, so I've actually already had some of this pat, and I thought it was absolutely delicious. I, I took the neck pour the night I got it, just to to get into it a little bit. But let's get some good tastings going on here. I think you got a very typical Woodford. Mm. Nose. It's more nuttier than I remember their other ones kind of. Yeah, doing. but I mean, you're going to get that little bit of oak leather, some chocolate notes. Yeah, the chocolate is nice. It's sweet nose. It is a very sweet nose. And, and you know what? I, I'll say this right now. Just off the nose, this beats last year's. Okay. All right? Saying that right off the beginning. Oh, that's much better. Isn't it? That's pretty good. I was I was so happy we actually got this this year. So preface this, I saw this and I said, hey, Pat, by the way, it's here. He said, no, last year sucked. Why would we try and just waste our money again? <laughs> exact words was do not buy it. It's going to suck. I did say that. And does it suck? <laughs> it doesn't suck. It does not suck. It doesn't. They, no. they did redeem themselves. But come on. If you would have got another bottle like you did last year, I would be so pissed at wasting that money. Right? Right? Mm. It's just, I hate rolling the dice. There's a little bit of fruit on the nose. I mean, not on the nose, on the taste on this one. Kind of berry-ish. Yeah. Um, getting some berries in there. Um, the caramel is kind of like a, I feel like it's a burnt caramel. It's not like a normal... Yeah. Right? Are you getting that too, or am I just being mm -hmm, Looney Tunes? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I feel like normally they're a little over-oaked. It's it's oaky, but a not little bit of like super. chocolate, but more of like a cocoa mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, some caramel, some some berries. It's it's like a darker berry, um, like a blackberry. Yeah, probably like a blackberry. Mm. Getting some definite seasoned oak out of that, which is surprising because Woodford is is really known for not holding on to long ages. Like guessing this is probably going to be a six to seven eight year, maybe nine year, um, you know, mix. Mm. You know. I'm kind of mixed on that, like, like I said, I'm getting like a burnt caramel out of it, and I'm not a biggest fan of it, but it's good, totally redeemed themselves, like, I don't know if I would go out and buy this with my own money, would you? <laughs> I did buy this with my own money. I know that. Would, would you buy, I go would you buy it, it again? again? Um, probably what, not. Would you say the price was? One, like, 45, 140, somewhere around there. See, for that much money, I'm going to find so much better juice. Mm. You know, we just, I, we just did the stag. Obviously, stag's in a different class. Totally but half awesome. the price smoked this thing. Even so, if I was paying 150 or even 200 I'd rather spend my money on that bottle than this one. Yeah. I think the flavor, I think every, the enjoyability. Like I said, I could crush that bottle on a weekend. Dude, this one, I'm not. Like, I, this one, I'm a four or two. barrel and batches sort of would smoke this, and it's less money than this. Yeah, I would agree to that one, too. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of some other stuff that we've got. What was the the Midwinter's Dram, I think? The, oh, the uh, Act 11 that we just did? Yeah, that, I mean, I think that was better than this as well. What was that running? Um, that was a little bit, I want to say it was like 10 or $15 cheaper than this. So and you get the extra 50 mLs. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I overall, know. this they did redeem themselves from last year. Yeah. So it's just, 
If you're a Woodford, I think this. If you're a hardcore Woodford fan, right, I think this would be right up your alley. The only thing I love from them is the double oaked. Everything else, I think, falls short. I would tend to agree with you on some of that. I was going to say, the Master Collection so far has pretty much let us down. Uh, anything that's been in a shape bottle like this, we've been like, eh. This one, I think it did redeem itself. I think the nose is great. I think it's got some great flavor to it. The proof is up there. I think the price is a little high. I'd rather see this come in at like $100. Um, but overall, it's it's good juice that's in, on the inside. And it's, when you're looking value, it's, as a, as an almost hundred fifty dollars worth of good, no, it's that's not. what you're that's it's, what you're that's, stuck on. That's where I'm stuck. It's just like when if we it got that barrel that gray label, and you know, I'm thinking it's going to be fantastic because it's a two hundred dollar bottle, and I'm thinking, you know, for two hundred dollars, it sucked. And this for that much money is oh, load of blackberry on that one. It, like I was saying, darker berries. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent load. It's just just like right on the tongue. Just a big load right in your mouth at that time. I still think this is good juice. It's price good. It's not great. It's overpriced. I would say it's overpriced. However, still pretty good. If you got one, I think you will enjoy it. I think yeah. it's, it's 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 a good bottle to end up having. Anyways, I wouldn't buy two. Oh, I would not. I wouldn't buy. I would not buy backup. Not at no. all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys like our content. Please subscribe. Follow us along for more. Everybody, have a good day.